Okay, I'd like to do another stack of books for you. I'm back. Got the window open, which is always a bad idea. So let's close that right now. As you've seen in this series, I've been going through and I have, look at my dirty table. I don't draw on this table, so what's this dirt from? All my cappuccinos and mochaccinos. So as you've seen in this series, I'm going through my art book collection so that I have something that's not sitting on. I might need to get an extra shelf, by the way, but so everything's not sitting on the floor. We're going to do another stack of floor books today and uh, go through them, see what we want to keep, give you a little sneak peek at what I've been collecting, uh, what I'm into, maybe something you want to pick up for yourself, or if I'm getting rid of something, maybe you want to message me and send me some cash. Okay, let's get a stack. Actually, I grabbed this book. It was not on a stack. It was by itself. But look at how it was stored. The st <laughs> because the way I set it on the floor, it was like kind of like hanging like this. Completely broke the spine of this. Maybe I bought it like that. I mean, at this price, overpriced book. Origami book. I like origami. Um, I have a fondness for paper airplanes because me and uh, one of my late aunts used to, we shared a, a moment of paper airplane. You know where I'm going to donate this book? I'm going to donate this book at the cafe. Yep. I mean, origami stuff you can basically find online now. And this one, the spine is just short. But I feel like... Some people at the cafe might enjoy looking through this. Let me get rid of this part. Uh, so we found one we're going to donate. So that's one that you don't have to worry about. We're just going to donate this. Next up, you all believe that's me. The <laughs> giant ass Rockwell book. I love Rockwell. I don't know if we've gotten into that. Did we talk about Rockwell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so this book, it's a coffee table book because it can be used as a coffee table. But if you look at the dimensions, look at my hand. How many hands? It's two hands tall. So it's called 332 Magazine Covers. And this giant presentation, this book is just heaven for me. There's nowhere I can store it but the floor. This one might be permanently a floor book. Got a little discussion. Let me just get it. I'm trying to look at the quality, the reproduction quality. Not the greatest, right? Still pretty good for what it is. Love looking at Rockwells. And in this larger format, probably something that I can't get rid of. Look at this. So good. His face expressions are just great. It's realism, but with a little bit of a, a little uh, stank on it. He put some stank on it. Rockwell. That's a cool image. Old Betty Veronica type. Oh, she's godlike. Yeah. Though I don't care for the quality as much, the size it just makes this an awesome, awesome, awesome book to keep. Use it as a doorstop, perhaps. So I don't know where I got this. I can't imagine I got this from Amazon, but it's quite possible. Okay. This is a smaller stack. I'll say I've seen some of the stuff in this stack, and it's going to have some bangers, as the kids say, as the kids used to say. So we just put these here, and we'll pull them forward. Ken Hultgren, Art of Animal Drawing. Hmm. So I can't really get into this one because I've sealed it. But it's one I'm going to want to look at just to make sure that I want to keep it. Some of these I know I want. James Montgomery Flag. This book was gotten at the... Um, book sale that the library does four times a year. One I'm pretty sure I want. No need to open that. The Pencil by Paul something. I think this is an art instruction book. Everything in this pile is sealed? Yeah, so I don't know. We'll crack open some of them. We'll crack open that one. Fade Away by Cole Phillips. Sorry, Fade Away. The Art of Cole Phillips. I forget who did this. Scott Fisher with the forward. Really good book. Fade Away, you can see his style. And I like that. I like that about him. That's Stan. Uh, yeah, we're not getting rid of this. <laughs> this 
Demon City Shinjuku role playing game and resource book. I love this anime as a, as a youth. I got it off eBay. Uh, it's like basically a role playing game book. Don't ever plan on playing it. I probably will read through some of the weirdness one day, but love that. Love the art. Love everything. A Tirada and a King Jongi crossover book. Pretty amazing. No need to open it. We're keeping it. Illustration Magazine. These always feature a few artists. This one doesn't say who, who is featuring, so we'll crack that open. I'm pretty sure I'm keeping it. We'll crack that. Another one. Cool cover. I got these for like less than a dollar at the comic store I work at. Or used to work at? I don't know. It's one thing about working in a comic store. All the great perks you get if you're into like collecting stuff. You get discounts. Oh, it's so good. You get to be there when cool things come in the door. Stuff like that. Drawing people. Okay, this is not this is not a bag, so we can take a peek. Drawing people. How to portray the clothed figure. Okay. Okay. Let me pull back a little bit so you can see some of this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool stuff. About how the clothing gets pulled. This is a book I'm going to want to go through. Yeah, this is good stuff. I mean, structure of the eyes. What does that have to do with? Oh, well, I'm, guess, I'm guessing if you're drawing a clothed figure, you'll still have to draw the mouth and eyes. Good at drawing instruction book. Maybe we'll get through that one day. Design graphics, second edition now. This is a goodwill book, but. Uh, Probably a class book. What is this price? $1,295. Uh, it's probably an instruction booklet. Okay. Teaching you. There's some tools. This is for, uh, we'll do graphics. What? I don't know. I don't know what draftsmen, architects. Ooh, love the font. More fonts. More fonts. Love it. Let's get into here. Perspective. Okay. Oh, it's just a cool book to have, right? You're teaching. It's like maybe an intro course for people who design products and architects. Look at the trees. Wow. That's some good stuff here. It's weird. You wouldn't think an artist would want to have a book like this, but as you can see, it's fun, handy. Whoa. Wait a minute. It's going to teach you circles and perspective. That's cool. Yeah, I learned this trick in a uh, an engineering class I had, engineering design class. This would be probably what we would use as something. This is a little more in depth. It's very cool. I love shapes. I love geometry. This is a keep. Hidden elements of drawing. Okay. Now this automatically, when I see pen drawings like this, I get excited because that's the stuff I'm currently into. Paid five bucks for this at uh, Second and Charles. I'm gonna open it up though. Oh, look at this one. Stop. Stop. You come, the cover's gone. You just get this. Soriyama Hyper Illustration. Stop. How much I pay for this? It's a bargain at any price. Ten bucks. No need to. I mean, I'm keeping it. If you want to see what's in it, 10,000 likes. And you, I'll open that for you. Oh my god. I remember this day. So one day at the Second and Charles, they had a bunch of weird, delicious books. Like, yeah, both of these were there. This next book was there. Luis Royal. A hardcover Royal book. How much I'll pay for this? 22 bucks. Still a good deal. Um, not going to open it because I'm keeping it. 30,000 likes and I'll open that one for you. Art of Dragonlance. Oh, is this another Second and Charles? I got this that same day. I hit the mother load that day. They had all kinds of good stuff. That's where I got that Boris book we saw last episode. Um, I'm curious to see what's in here. Same with this one. I'm trying to compare like the price that I paid, maybe what it's worth now on the market, and how good it is inside. That's what I'm looking at. Vanishing Point. Great perspective book. I've never gone through it, but I got to meet uh, Jonathan Chessman Meyer at a convention and told him how, how awesome I thought this book was, even though I've never finished it. But man, he breaks it down. 
perspective for comics. Damn, last book here, Petty. Classic pinup art of George Petty. I'm sure it's second in Charles. I don't think I got it that same day that I hit the mother load. But uh, I like um, cheesecake art, especially stuff like Petty. All right, so I'm going to open these up, which is an editing nightmare because I have to cut the little pieces where I'm making all the noise with the... Maybe I'll just play some music this time. Oh wait, I'm making iced coffee. Let me get the iced coffee. something about this iced coffee even though it's so light it's still so strong I gotta rethink my formula for making coffee I don't know if you guys are, any, are fans of George Petty if you've seen his work you're about to see it who am I thinking of that does the pinup art that's just like this I don't think I have any of his books real famous pinup artists Yo, that's really cool. Look at that. Hugh Hefner, uh, Playboy Bunny there. Really good. Hugh Hefner with the forward. All right, so here's some George, here's some George Petty work. Pre-pinup. Man, look at that old style. And this, when this stuff wasn't selling, what did he <laughs> move to pinup art? That's really cool. The texture on that. It's a cool thing to do. Like have like the texture in the background or on the hair and the face be really untextured. It's a nice contrast there. It's a weird thing. This cool world style illustration where the, the uh, or even like um, any of the old cartoons where the woman is drawn really uh, they're cartoons but more realistic than any of the male characters. Just a weird off-putting kind of, what's the, what's the psychology of that? I don't know. Why isn't, the, why isn't the man drawn? This is a beautiful drawing. Holy shit. Sorry. That is awesome. The lines. I love the lines. So good. And then just how it... Oh, so good. He's out here hunting stuff. Yo. Yeah, just amazing. I'm not going to go with that. Oh, it's uh, my man from Gone, Gone with the Wind. Clearly he was like a, a, a model for... How you should draw men back then. This is an amazing book. If I could think of the other artists, I will put it in the comment. Not comments. I'll put it in. The, you know, I'll put it somewhere. Or if anyone else knows, they can comment. There's a really famous artist who did pinup around this era. I don't think I have his book, but <clears throat> Gil Gil Elvgren is that his name? Something like that. I just, it, as I was thinking of it, Adam Hughes used to talk about him, and it came in my mind. Gil Elvgren, I believe. Okay, let's open another. Sorry. Well, this one's very worn. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, hell yeah. No wonder. It's like book cover illustrations. It's got... Oh, yeah, this is... This is for sure. Stop. Stop. Here it is. Come on. Come on, sign. Sick. Yo, look at the three ninjas over here. What was that for? What's a bookmark in here? Nick Hockey and other adults tug of war just for fun against children from the audience. Is this the previous owner of this book? That's a sick bookmark. Sick, sick, sick. Nick, Dave Dorman. Oh, snap. I met Dave Dorman. Did I? 
Yeah, I think so. All right, well, this is, come on. Come on, son. <clears throat> come on, son. Come on, son. <laughs> so I feel like the next book's gonna be very similar. Another worn book. Maybe that's why I paid under 10 bucks for these. Let's see, Art of Dragon Lance. Okay. 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 So far, this one's on the bubble here. I'll give this a deeper look just to see if I want to hang on to it. The other book was eh, close. For the price, it might be worth it. What's that buzzing? This is one. It's got not enough paintings for me, even though I like black and white illustration. This one we'll have to evaluate further. Oh, awesome. If the whole book looks like that, yeah, this is not going to be... Actually, is this an instruction book? Maybe. It's a fat instruction book, I'll say that. Oh, what technique is this? Sorry, that's probably pretty loud. I'll have to... Oh, we got some... Oh, hey, look at the, look at the strats. I'm talking about muscles. This is a good instruction book just because it's old. And it's going to have the hidden knowledge in it and a lot of nudity. Oh man, I finished the video. Half of it, well, I'm not going to say half. A lot of it did not get recorded because my phone was out of space. So we're going to have to rewind and pick up where we left off. We were on this book. I was talking about the nudity, and that's when things got hairy. Anyway, it's got good techniques. So I'm going to hang on to this book. But it's one that I'll probably go through first and then see if it's a keeper or not. These are the ones I went through already, but now they're open, so we don't have to worry about that. Art of Animal Drawing, Ken Holtgren. I went through this, and I said, okay, he's getting through some of the basics, defining. And I was saying you can just find animal reference on Google now, so a lot of people are doing that. But this has this kind of stuff in it, which I really like. Breakdown of the skeletal structure. More stuff you can find on YouTube. And I was saying that if any of you are interested in this book, this is one I would sell. But it'll probably stay in my collection until someone says, hey, I want that book. If you like drawing animals, or animals see, like it's coming handy for me maybe one day. But I have so many books, that's the situation. A lot of my nice reference, a lot of nice technique. A little bit of technique. Okay, we're going backwards to the pencil. Paul Call. Uh, this book, a lot of beautiful pencil illustrations. He goes through like the history of pencil goes through some, it's got some nice pencil drawings but it goes through like a little bit of what are pencils how to sharpen pencils let's go that's my favorite way to sharpen um, then he talks about you know look at this awesome another awesome 1985 April look at awesome bookmark on here that must be one of his illustrations yeah so he's got kind of a book I'd love to probably read but there's a lot of beautiful drawings in here, so it might be a keeper. It's a nice one. Nice, nice, nice to have. Lastly, we have two of the illustration books. I was trying to see, what, why did I keep these? From the cover, I can't really tell. So it happens to be Tom Lovell on the cover. Memoriam to Jeffrey Catherine Jones. Jeffrey Jones back in the day. Great painter. Tom Lovell. Mm-hmm. I have a Tom Lavelle art book, as I was saying, with that on the cover. Have not opened it because it's so expensive. I might need to sell it one day. It's not that expensive, like 160, but I paid 40 because if you look on eBay, every now and then you can find deals. All you do is set the search. You search what book you want, and then they'll give you email alerts as the books are listed. And then you can just check and see, oh, someone listed it for cheap. Let me grab it. It's a little strat for you. But the only reason these get expensive is because like they make so few of these and there's so many artists that find out about other artists later and they're like, oh, let me get that art book. What? A thousand dollars? All right, this one's, this, um, J. Frederick Smith is in the front here. Oh my God, his work is just so good. As I was saying before, I'm pretty impressed by a lot of this. One of them literally stopped me. This on the right here, I was like, what is that? That's so cool. Beautiful work by that guy. 
and the other artists featured in here. This was one that I said, okay, worth keeping. So that's the collection of books we have for today. A lot of them we're going to keep. A lot of them we're going to go through and maybe keep. We're going to put the maybes in here. Another maybe. Another maybe. Definite keep. And we have that Dragonlance book, which we have to go through. Which we talked about earlier. It keeps getting stuck to books. Not good. Petty is a great keeper. And everything else you saw on this point. Arboreal, Soriyama. 30,000 likes, we open this. 20,000 likes, I'll show you this. <laughs> Graphics book, drawing people. What was this? Was this a go through and maybe? Yeah, that's got good stuff. Tarada Kim Jong Gi collab. Shinjuku. Oh, this book's so cool. Didn't even know this existed. I was like, what? Give me that. Fade away, Cole Phillips. And flag. We'll open this one just to end this video. I got this from the library sale, as I was saying. James Montgomery flag. It's got a. Uh, um, what's my man who does the. I'll put it in the video. I can't think of his name right now. Gibson. Love the early start of most of these artists. And you get to the good times. Man, he was really. His name's Flag, and everything was like independent. Oh, man. He's. Yeah, him. He had to be a contemporary of um, Gibson. Had to be. Just so similar. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good book. Is that blank page? What are we doing? Are we talking poster here? Talking pullout? No, it's just like a real, real advertisement. It's not glossy like the rest. It's weird. Maybe that's like an original drawing in here. What? No. It's cool though. Just how they divide the sections. Good stuff. Susan Meyer, the editor. Yeah, he's definitely a Gibson contemporary. You can't tell me different. Okay. That's it. End in the video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, post notifications. Uh, give me money. Drop a like. Oh, I said that already. Um, I'll be back. We've got two more giant stacks of books to get through. Hopefully I'll add a little music to make this one a little bit more watchable. Or you can have it on in the background. But me and my iced coffee, which I put back in the fridge, would like to say thank you and goodbye.